Good news, everyone! I lost the left recording because Camtasia Studio decided to be a dick. But I'm using my right codec now, and so we're just going to start playing this level. I already finished most of it, and then took a break, and then found out I was using the wrong codec. So that's why the audio has been messed up, and I know it wasn't the last video. Oh, so the music's not on. So... I'm going to try recording this one thing at a time. I guess I should show you what I got at least. This was experience. Um, unfortunately I can't just delete my progress in one level. But I'll try and show you the whole level again. Wait, heart. Hearts are good. Eat hearts to get stronger. Um, but yeah, the audio was desynced last time, so we're going to use a proper video codec that's made for full motion video, which is what this is, and hopefully it won't be all screwed up. In fact, I, I had set it up to do this before, but it apparently reverted the settings on me, just to screw up my stuff. But oh well. But, yeah. So this is the new the Sandstorm level. I really like the music in this. I love the the ghost sort of vigilante cowboy, whatever you want to call these, the bandit things. I was really not expecting those, but they were really cool in uh, Epic Battle Fantasy 3. They're not really what I would have thought of for generic, um, you know, Old West desert type enemies. But they're really freaking sweet. Oh, and one thing to note. Um, some of these chests that give you, like, health up or magic up, you can reopen those multiple times because they didn't really... Um, unlike the equipment chests and stuff, there's really no reason not to give you those again. So if you replay a level, you can pick up those again. Which is a nice little boost. And I think the HP up and MP up, the ones that permanently increase your stats. I think those turn into regular um, chests that heal you or give you more mag or give you full magic. So that's nice. Also, I set the difficulty on hard, so that's why I'll take a little bit more damage. It didn't seem to make too much of a difference, so I figured I'll just play on this instead. Don't fall off cliffs when I'm trying to kill you! Freaking jerk. You better not fall off any cliffs. I'm gonna stab you. Why is it that when I frickin' try to stab people, they just always try to run away and fall off cliffs and die? I mean, it's it's very rude. I, I just don't approve of that at all. Don't barf... I was just gonna say, don't barf poison at me, but what did you do? You barfed poison at me. You just don't listen! You frickin' trees... Trees never listen to me! And I'm getting sick and tired of it. You know, I'm just in the forest and I'm like, Hey, do you guys know where the frickin'... McDonald's is, and they're just like, they're just trees, and it's it's just rude. It's damn rude is what it is. I'm sick of it. Yeah, we got a ninja cap here, and I like that instead of making you go back to the start of the secret area, it just restarts. It gives you like a little ending. That was bright. Okay. If I have less to talk about, it's because I already played, what was it, three-fourths of this level already. I did get to this point and died, and I stopped the video just to see how it turned out, because I've been having recording problems. Yay! Hey, bats! Whoa, 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 whoa! Frickin' no. Okay. We're okay. Frickin' moth bat things because they're mostly just moths not bats but still kill you kill you too that's what happens okay health up is very good safety no death oh well and I like the sandstorm thingy in the background it's very nice and the music I love the music in this area I love all of the music in all of the areas though I recently got um, I can never remember how to pronounce your name. The Hi Iconic Falcon X. I recently got their, um, one of their, 
whatever the latest music thing was on eBay. I got it, but I still haven't gotten the actual package thingy yet because it's eBay, which takes forever. And it's probably, you know, standard post. I'm used to getting everything over Amazon. My two-day free shipping crap, which is very, very nice. Hey, we can get some water. Chest! Oh, leveled up. Okay, we're safe. Stab you in the face. How did he die that quick? Oh well, I won't question it. Except for the part where I questioned it already, but still. Okay. We got it. Maybe... Like this. Oh! More shrooms. Hooray! Don't you freaking circle around me. You guys are jerks. I didn't add you in Google Plus. Why are you in my circles? I call hacks. Kitty! End every day by hugging a kitty. I don't think I got any new equips. Did I? Oh! No. No, I didn't. I got monies, though. But you can get... Um... get ice. I probably will never remember to use it, but let's get ice. And I'm gonna split the video here just because problems happen all. Okie dokie, so that went a lot smoother. The last recording thingy went a lot faster. Turns out the codec I had been using to record um, is something set up for screen recording, which is meant for... it's meant for a video that doesn't have a lot of motion in it. And I'm now using a codec, it's called the Lossy codec, that works a lot better for what's going on in video games, so it should be a lot less painful. And I like what he's doing with the signs here. He sort of moves around the like the signs indicating where a portal goes, but it's still always clear where you're going. It just keeps a little flare in there, which is nice. Suddenly Oasis. Ah, bushes! Bushes! Ah, oh, standard face! See, get up here. Very good. Hey, hey, hey! Oh, good, they respawn. Okay. I'm learning. See, this is how you teach players how to play things. You give them little tiny bits of stuff they can figure out on their own, instead of giving them a wall of text and expecting them to read it. Ah! And forgiveness is important too. Especially when you're first learning something like these. Swallowing with these probably isn't going to mean instant death. Not here. But hey, I'm gonna kill you guys. Mission complete. Hey, it's Meowth. I always thought those statues look like Meowth. And it's because they really do. I think those are in Epic Battle Fantasy, at least. He's, he's got the coin on his head. That's definitely a Meowth. He's got the ridiculous whiskers. And we got nothing important but coins. I guess coins are important. Uh, where are we going? Okay. Was there anything over? Nah, there wasn't. Don't you hate it when you're like recording a video game and some guy, you know, just comes in your house like. Oh, hello, I'm knocking on your door. I don't dare you playing a video game. Bro. Anyway, that's why I had to pause there. Um, and music a little loud. So. So. Oh, I. Go away, mouse. See, this, I'm all messed up now. It's off. I'm off the freaking groove, man. It's not cool. But, uh. I went and checked my mail. Um, apparently, I just did finally get that um, that soundtrack I was talking about from Iconic Falcon X. It is Bullet Heaven and Adventure Story, the music of Epic Battle Fantasy, and I'll leave an if it's still on eBay, it should be. Um, I'll leave a link where you can get it. It's like not many dollars, and it's very good music, so I strongly rec recommend it. 
In fact, I liked it so much that I actually got a uh, external CD drive just so I could actually play and import the music from this track. And I also got a CD from um, the soundtrack for Disgaea 4. So I broke down and finally got a frickin' uh, whatchamacallit CD play thingy. I feel so like 1990s, but it's okay because it's an external drive. Oh, more secrets. Frickin' cords everywhere, excuse me. Let's just get all these things. Get all the things. Hope I don't need to go back that way. Hey! You weren't even hiding in bushes, you were just hiding in, like, stone wall. You don't blend into stone walls. I still love the Meowth statues. Feels like I should be able to stand on that, but I can't, but oh well. At least it's a different color, even if it's not quite the different... It doesn't feel like it's on a different plane, but it is a different color, so it is easy enough to tell, once you get a hang of it, that these are not standable platformy things. Because you can only stand on the gray ones, for whatever reason. And thinking about it, that makes sense, because if you look at what's going on here, there's a whole bunch of yellow sandstoniness that you can't stand on, but it's just the gray parts you can stand on, so it's nice to be able to see where you can stand. That's generally good. Not knowing where you can stand ends up in awkward situations. Can I stand on clouds? Yes, I can! Ah! Clouds disappear. That was so awesome. I was not expecting that. And the metal is great. That's sort of like the timing for the metal in uh, the part where he kills you in a certain game. That was just awesome. Oh hey, we get a staff. It's probably yeah, it's probably just a sword that gives plus magic, so yeah, I'm not I shouldn't be excited about that. But I am a completionist, so I am excited about that, even if I never use it. Just because it's never going to be useful for me doesn't mean I don't need it. Crap. Who builds these walkways anyway? Must have the most frickin' insane carpenter ever. Hey! And I still like the little Metal Gear Solid exclamation points when the enemies spot you. Hey! What did I tell you about circling? That's right. You circle me, you get stabbed in the face. This is why I don't have many peep friends on Google+. Plus. I stab them in the face. It's in retrospect, it's kind of understandable. Oh well. Oh hey, I have 51 health now. Must have got another- ah crap. Must have got another health up without noticing it. Crap! It's the exact same mistake I made last time. Okay. We're gonna watch our footing this time. And we're gonna actually jump. Hey! Okay, that's kind of a mean jump. I think I think I broke one of the platforms on the way over there, but... Crap! Can I stand on... Ah, oh, it's just before the sign. This isn't the worst blind jump, but... Okay. Okay. There we go. 7-3. It's like a wooden roller coaster for your feet, which is really weird now that I say that. Health up. Well, not health up, just healing. Hey! Don't shoot me. It's very rude. Ow. That was smart. Stab you in the face. I think these guys are new. Though maybe they show up in Epic Battle Fantasy 4. By the way, I'm on the fence on whether I should do 
a video of, well, probably multiple videos, of the original Epic Battle Fantasy. I never actually did beat that one. Um, it's not as long as the other ones, but it's still kind of long, so I wasn't sure if I should do a video. Um, leave a comment or like another comment saying that I should play that, I guess, if you want me to. I'm generally not huge on playing, you know, Let's Plays of RPGs, but Epic Battle Fantasy is pretty short and doesn't have the grindy stuff. It's like a... It's like, I don't know. It's sort of like, you know, those pre-scripted battles in some RPGs where you have... You know, you get control of a character that's not your main character, so you got predefined stats and skills and... You're fighting a boss with that. It's kind of like that, but it's a whole game of that. Which is a pretty neat idea. It's a nice little bite-sized chunk of an RPG, minus the grindiness, which is good. I mean, not grindiness is good. Oh, ho, ho! Zora's enemy... Um, well, the absorbing MP from foes is okay. The minus 50% attack is not. So we're going to stick with that. I want to be a ninja, but I don't have the ninja shirt thingy. Why isn't this... Why aren't these in, like... I would have thought these would be part of, like, a set. Like, a horizontal column set. Like, this appears to be the ninja thing. You've got the... Katana, we've got the ninja hat, we've got this pirate thingy. But you'd think this would be, like, a knight sword, and the mana staff would be with the magic robe. Oh well, so let's stop messing up my equips. Tune in next time where we have more of this game.